Alex Yu Show 300 seconds of daily wisdom to inspire you to live a life worth living. Healthful, joyful, and meaningful. Hello, my dear friends. I'm Alex Yu, and you're watching Alex Yu Show, the show that inspires you to live a life worth living. Today, we're talking about food triumph health. And in these 300 seconds, the topic is is having a light dinner a myth? In that topic that is quite often discussed, give us your comments in the box below. What's been your experience? How do you do it? Do you have large dinner or small dinner, large, large lunch, breakfast, etc.? What's better for our health and overall well being? Weight as well. Now, before I start, just saying that dinner by itself, if we're not taking, uh, taking a look at all the other factors, just by, if you say dinner on its own, a light dinner versus a heavy dinner when it comes to a better sleep and, and waking up more restful and, 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 and with more energy, light dinner is always better than heavy dinner. Now, this is by itself as, as a one sentence, a standalone sentence. But because everything is so connected, and this is what I want to show in these 300 seconds, when it comes to your health, everything is connected and, and many factors matter. We can just say light dinner versus heavy dinner. But I want to bust a myth of light dinner with one real life example with the country of Peru. Now there's many countries that are, are not having large dinners. Very simple, small dinners and large lunches. And this is in general the cases in Peru. Here in Peru, most people eat large lunches later in 1, 2, 3 o'clock but very small to no dinners at all, a piece of bread or fruit, etc. And yet their health is nowhere near an exemplary. On the contrary, they have a lot of health issues on the rise with the weight um, uh, problems as well. So in this case example, real case example, it's not an argument, it's not a philosophy. Here it is, they're eating large lunches, but they don't have a good example of health. Therefore, we can conclude that just by saying, I'm not going to eat dinner or light dinner. It doesn't mean you're going to be healthy. It doesn't mean that you're going to be full of energy or you're going to be fit. But what it actually matters when it comes to your health and well-being, it isn't just saying light dinner or large dinner. Is what is for dinner. That's much more important. What did you eat before dinner? What is the quality of your food? If, you just, if you're going to eat... Uh, an apple for dinner, but three fast food hamburgers with a smooth or smoothie or uh, something sugary and French fries and 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 and, and, and peps or, or or soda products. Then in that case, it's just as and then having apple for dinner. It doesn't mean you're healthy. Then the guy who has a nice balanced meal at eight o'clock, a large meal, but a, a simple lunch. It doesn't mean that the guy who had light dinner is healthier by no means. So what it means here is that the quality of your food is much more important than when you eat it. As we've said many times, the best time to eat for your body is between noon and 8 p.m. When and as you're hungry. And in those times when you're eating better quality of foods, whole foods, whole grains, fruits, veggies, home prepared meals, avoiding large portions of heavy meats and sauces and dairy. When you're eating lighter food, more alive, with more um, energy in it, with more vibrations in, into it, with more livingness into it, that is what will give you the life, the health, the fitness that you're looking for. Whether you're gonna eat at eight o'clock or six o'clock or 12 o'clock, it matters, but what matters more is the quality of your food. So at six o'clock, for example, if you're having a nice sized dinner, but it's a whole foods dinner with lots of veggies, with lots of homemade prepared good meal, and then you go to bed at 10 or 11 or 12 o'clock, you're perfectly fine, absolutely. You had your larger meal for dinner, but it was that kind of meal, you're perfect. And the opposite, if you're having fast food for lunch and no or small dinner, you're nowhere near further ahead by any standards when it comes to your health. So here's the myth busted, larger, or smaller dinner. Smaller dinner doesn't necessarily mean means meaning health or weight loss or fitness or overall well-being. It's the quality of what you're eating. And here's an example. If you don't believe me, come to Peru and check it out. And there's other countries that are doing the same thing. Lighter dinner, heavy lunches and breakfast, but unhealthy ones. So it actually defeats the purpose of eating lighter dinner. I'm Alex Yu and it's an absolute pleasure to inspire you to live a life worth living. Healthful, joyful, successful, meaningful. 
Much love right here from Peru. I'm sending you my biggest, biggest hack. Until tomorrow, my friends, and until then, keep on food triumphing.